Hello children and welcome back. In my last lesson we learnt about water. Now today we are going to learn about the forms of water and water cycle. Now water has three exists in three forms that is solid, liquid and gases. So we will learn in detail. Hi children, could you tell me which one is the water? How many of you agree? Yes, that was right. Well, I did too. Look, our arrow has clicked on ice and steam too. Did you think that was right? Water has three forms. The water that we drink is in the liquid form. We love ice in our cold drink. Ice is the solid form of water. Water can be found in the form of gas called steam or water vapor. So, water has three forms solid, liquid and gas. Solid is ice, water is liquid and water vapor or steam as gas. Did you know that if you kept a glass full of ice and just let it stand for a while what would happen? Right, the ice would melt and become water again. Now, if you heat the water, it will evaporate in the form of steam. Now, look at that together. Ice can be turned into water with heating. Water can become a gas or steam with heating or evaporation if you cool the steam. If you cool the steam, it will condense and become water. And if you put your water in the fridge, it will become ice. In evaporation, water changed to steam, which is from a liquid to a gas. In condensation, water vapor turned back to water or gas changed to a liquid. So, evaporation is liquid to gas and condensation is gas to liquid. Children, have you all wondered how we get rain and what causes rain? So let us learn the two processes that is the evaporation and condensation. Have you wondered how we get rain? and how the river seemed to always flow and how the ocean has so much water. The sun shines on the rivers and the lakes and the seas. The heat of the sun begins to change some of the water into vapor. This is called evaporation. Water evaporates all the time. This water vapor begins to rise into the air and it slowly begins to form clouds. When these clouds get cooled, the water vapor begins to bring back to water. 
since the drop gets too heavy for the cloud it falls down like rain all of us love the rain right what happened after the drops fall down some of the drops form puddles which begin to flow into small streams these stream join larger rivers and these rivers join lakes and then the sea all of the water does not reach the river or the sea some water sinks into the ground springs are formed with this water we can also reach the water by digging wells so water evaporates to form clouds these clouds condense as rain and fall back to the earth we have learned about the three states of water and we have learned about the water cycle more fun things are to be discovered so keep learning children i hope you all understood the different forms of water and the rain cycle or you can also call it water cycle with this i come to the end of my lesson stay home stay safe and keep learning